Brick squirts out. Trent Jr. Count it. His daddy was the Shaq of the Mac, a former up. teammate. Can't allow them to kind of get on these 4-0, 6-0, 10-0 runs. Got a bit of a response. Bagley. And that's what makes him so special, Jimmy Jackson. In the game. Eight out of their last 11 games that they lost, guys. They lost seven points or less. And a steal, Bashir. Pons up top. Count. Don't let this young man get formed. He can score points in bunches. Bagley try to create space. No ball. Good defense by three goals. Red Storm on the move to the bucket. Simon gliding in. Driving, lobbing. Bagley snapped it down and pounds it in. This kid is so And a steal. Here comes Pons. He's got Simon trailer. Pons to the hole. Left hand goes down. What anticipation that time. Understanding Ned. Spitting. Knocked away, Trent Jr. to the bucket. Game. Inside. Oh, and oh, what a nice play. He didn't bring it down. Pods to the hole. Up and in with the left hand. Up top, Duval down the lane, the floor. Rim is up. Pods uh, shaking bait to the top. Brooklyn style. What? Puts the head up. I'll be mean, that to the move by Pons. Pons. Oh my goodness, in St. John's. The Red Storm rising at the garden. First lead of the game. Over the top. Pons turns the corner. The lock. Oh! Owens with the pound down. And St. John's. Baseline. Ahmed Duke. Bang. Baseline, Bashir, now he drives, he gets it up, counted, Bashir Ahmed. Well, now you attack on the baseline. Carter unable to get there. His Here's Bagley, 24. Breaker mm. transition basket. Pons driving, scooping, and hitting. Kicks it out, deep. Oh my goodness, Amir. Well, again, not panicking under pressure. Double T picks it up again to the top. Oh my goodness! Counted in the five. That's one of the best plays you'll ever see. Shamori Pond jump shot. Cross court. Ahmed on the hop. Banks it in. Bashir Ahmed has been brilliant. He had six at halftime. He has 17 now. Trimble inside Owens almost travel gets it up and in. What a beautiful pass by Trimble. What a pass to one control that time by Owens to not drag his pivot foot, which would cause a turnover. Do that. And the freshman knocks out a huge three-pointer. Coach Mullen wanted that isolation up top. Do that double pump straight to the bucket. Grayson Allen. Allen looking back to do that. Baseline, Carter, jump hook. Big fella. Getting busy right now. Teardrop. Oh, Shamori. Duval to the hole. Up and in. Duval turns, reverse, and it's good. This kid is growing in front of our eyes. Survey. And he throws it away. Bagley picks it out. Trent. Rising fire three. Big time bucket. Gary Trent with 20. And here's Pons driving off the glass and in. And the Red Storm's back up. Pons, five to shoot. Let's it fly. Oh! He hit it. Shamari Pons. Six seconds to go. Grayson Allen. And he answers. What a game! Val driving, knocked out of his hand. Allen lets it go! Off the back rim, no! Three seconds, 2.7 seconds, and a foul! Can you believe this? St. John's, 2.7 seconds away from shaking off the demons.
Savage, Karna Seca on his feet. Owens at the line. Duval, two seconds. Duval. Arizona. St. John's. They suck the nation. Chris Mullen and the Red Storm beat the number four ranked Duke Blue Devil. 81 to 77. Pons with 33. And the Red Storm put that 11 game losing streak to bed. Thank you so much. Can you say wow with a capital W? I mean, everybody here is impressed at what we saw out of your players today. People at home are no doubt impressed. What's impressed you most with the way that they played here today? Oh, just their perseverance. Uh, we've been playing pretty well. I mean, I've, I've been telling that. It's hard to get that positive reinforcement when you, don't, when you don't come out with wins. But even statistically, we've been in two possession games virtually the whole month of January. Um, so I'm really proud that they not only believed in that, but believed in each other. And um, yeah, it was a big win. We needed it so bad. And um, yeah, so perseverance is what it's all about. I think you may have worn out a, a path in the court where you were standing during that last minute just walking back and forth. You've been through so many games, but when you see your guys, all the, all the issues that they've had this season, everything that they've been through, what was the last minute like for you? Well, it was almost like deja vu because we missed a few free throws. You know, we're in a position where, you know, I like to foul in that position, but, you know, it's a, it's a dangerous proposition when guys are in transition. So I'm just glad Tariq made that free throw at the end there. We didn't have to make that decision. Such a big game. It had like a March feeling. We're here honoring Howard Garfinkel. What do you think he would say about the way that this went down today? Uh, he'd have loved it just to be in the arena here tonight. Garf would have loved this game. Coach K is one of my favorites and one of his favorites. Uh, we go way back. Coach K recruited me out of high school, so we had a long, uh, great relationship, and he's uh, nothing but respect in class. Congratulations. Thank you.